everyone. Today, we have the all-new Aventon Cinch 2. As all you know, Cinch series is known for its affordability and versatility. These bikes are popular among urban adventurers, off-road enthusiasts, and casual riders alike. And Aventon has recently introduced its new Cinch 2 e-bike. It's got a significant attention due to its updated features, so we brought the bike and used it for several weeks. Aventon says it's got plenty of new features that differentiate it from its predecessor since Step True. So let's see what changes Aventon has made to its foldable e-bike and share our overall experience with it. Upon unboxing, let's open these tabs from the top of the box and remove the main accessory box. Now lift the top cover carefully. Let's remove the packaging materials but don't throw them away, you might need them in case of a return. Here you can see an accessory box that contains a charger and an assembly kit. You'll find some components inside like chargers, spare parts, reflectors and grease. Let's pull this stem upright and close the latch to secure it. Now you can unfold your e-bike. Make sure that all wiring is safely tucked inside when unfolding it and now let's close the latch and unfold both pedals. Don't forget to remove motor protection casings, then we will adjust the display. These bolts need to be tightened. Now we must raise this handlebar to the desired height and keep it in place by closing the clamp. When adjusting its saddle, remember not to pass the minimum insertion mark. You can also adjust the tension on by loosening or tightening clamp nuts on the side. When you first see it, you'll find this bike has a utility e-bike kind of look. It was convenient to ride on and get off because of this frame design. Though it looks similar to its previous model, you can see some minor differences. We love the foldable design as it helped us to store our bike easily. Even one of our friends got surprised when we took it out of our car's bank trunk. From Aventon's official website, you can choose between two different color models, Sapphire and Quicksilver. This bike weighs 68 pounds, which is pretty heavy, but we think carrying it will be much easier when you fold it down. Aventon claims that this Cinch 2 has a payload capacity of up to 300 pounds even if it can bear the load, you'll see an impact on its speed and performance. In the cockpit, you'll see a sizable LCD color display that we found to be pretty informative. There was information about its remaining battery life, running speed and pedal assist modes. On the left side, these are the control buttons for turn signals. The controller also allowed us to access trip information over on display. We love the controller's positioning as it was pretty comfortable to operate even on rush riding. On the right side, there's a thumb throttle for extra push. You'll find this addition to be a little crowded because there are two shift relievers placed in the same place. As you can see, this bike has a 20 by 4 inch Chow Yang fat tires with an attractive brown sidewall. As they're crafted with street tread, these tires will be less useful for rough terrains but work fine for a crushed gravel path. We were also impressed by the performance of its RSD front suspension as it includes a preload on the left and lockout on right. Even on some bumpy roads, our hands did not get that much vibration. The bike's rear Tektra mechanical disc brakes gave us a good response but having a hydraulic set here would be better. For such a heavy e-bike, braking issues are not considerable. We also got a keyhole that helps to remove the battery. Just insert your key, turn it counterclockwise and lift the battery out, it's that simple. Going down, we got our battery charging port right here. Aventon recommends a proper sequence for charging. First, you have to plug the charging cable into the battery and then into the wall outlet. The 48 volt 14 amp hour battery used on the bike has the same size as the first cinch step through. And Aventon promises a 55 mile range on flat ground with an equal level of pedal assist, which is a clear improvement from the earlier cinch step through bike's 40 miles range.
Now, during our ride, we were impressed with his performance on our large hill climb test and the 500 watt motor packs a bigger punch than many other Aventon e-bikes. The throttle response was good, power was enough, Aventon says that this e-bike can reach up to 20 miles per hour top speed. Although you can see it has dropped from 5 levels of pedal assist to 4, the Eco, Tour, Sport and Turbo. But we think 20 miles per hour is enough for this kind of heavy bike. Now let's see what new additions the Cinch 2 has for us. Going to front, there's a headlight that you can count as a convenient addition from Aventon as we did not get it on any previous Cinch e-bike. Now here on the back, you can see the turn indicator lights which can be operated through the controller. These are absolutely new on a Cinch model. While testing them out, we felt safe on the road because the drivers behind us knew what our next move would be. The turn signals are timed and turn off automatically in about 10 seconds. We also love the rack and middle fenders that allowed us to carry our cargo. Aventon says that this rack has a 50 pound payload capacity, which we can say is good enough to carry more. And this slightly modified handlebar is a plus for regular commuters. As you can see, it has a swept back curve from which we got no noticeable fatigue even on long rides. So that was everything about our experience with the Aventon Cinch 2. Considering the price, versatility and additional features compared to its predecessor, it certainly proves to be worthwhile to buy. However, choosing the previous models would be better if you're not interested in spending extra bucks only because of the added features. Ultimately, the decision is yours to make.